The Data Portal is a web-based platform that allows signatories to access reported data. Signatories can view their own reports, as well as search, group and request access to private transparency reports and assessment reports from other signatories. Signatories can also export public responses to selected indicators or whole modules for a desired group of signatories. The key objectives with the data portal is to empower asset owners to engage with the managers by easily viewing and compiling reporting data, to promote the sharing of best practice by giving signatories easy access to each other's reports, to help the PRI identify areas of further work based on most popular searches, and to facilitate informed decision making between signatories working together. This tutorial will demonstrate how to access the data portal, where you can find your own reports, different settings for sharing your reports, how to find public reports and request access to private reports, and how to use the Explore Data function for your own analysis. You can access the data portal via the website or by typing dataportal.umpri.org. Internal staff with Data Portal access can log in using the same credentials as they use for the reporting tool. Users will only be able to access the Data Portal on behalf of the organization they directly work for to avoid conflicts of interest and to give assurance to signatories that only internal staff with identical email domain to what is registered for the signatory organization in PRI's database are granted access. This is different from the online reporting tool, where external providers can report on behalf of signatories. Please note that service providers with media business activities cannot access the data portal. If you fulfill this criteria but cannot access the data portal with your PRI credentials, please register via the reporting tool and click that you request access to the data portal. You should receive access within the next hour. If you have forgotten your password, you can reset it by clicking here. New users must accept the terms and condition before accessing the data portal. There are two types of users with respect to approving and denying access to reports. Generic data portal users can deny requests, while data portal contacts can both approve and deny requests. Once you are in the portal, you can go to the associated users functions under settings and request to see all in your organization with access and who is the data portal contact. To change your organization's data portal contact, please email reporting at umpri.org. One of the main functionalities of the data portal is to view your own transparency and assessment reports. Click on My Reports to view the transparency and assessment reports of your organization. Responses you have asked to be kept private will be visible only if you select the public and private option. This feature is only available for your own organization and to other signatories who have been given access to your private transparency report. The public view is the same as what has been published on the PRI website. If you have reported on your ESG activities for more than one year, you can switch between your reports here. There is also a keyword search function which allows you to search on any word or topic of your interest that can be found in the report. Signatories that have reported on climate change can click here to view their climate change specific responses. All your reports can be downloaded in PDF format and for transparency reports you can choose if you would like the public or the private version to be downloaded. Asset owners and investment managers can switch between transparency reports and assessment reports on the left hand side and can download the assessment reports in the PDF format here. The My Peering function allows you to view your scores against different peering groups. One of the data portal's key objectives is to promote the sharing of best practice by giving signatories easy access to each other's reports. The data portal contact will receive an email notification each time someone has requested access to your private reports. Under sharing settings, the data portal contact can specify who to share or not to share with by default and whether you wish to receive email notifications or not. 
under Received Requests, you can see which signatories have requested access to your private reports. Only Data Portal contacts can approve these requests, but all with Data Portal access have the ability to deny the requests. Please note that if access is approved, the signatory will be able to view both past and present private transparency and assessment reports. If you change your mind, this access can be revoked. Under Sent Request, you can see a list of the signatory's private reports that your organization have requested access to. You can filter by signatory and date requested or status of request and also see all private reports of signatories that have approved your request. And as already mentioned, under the Associated Users tab, you can see the internal staff with access to the data portal and who is the data portal contact of your organization. If you click on Find a Report, you can search on specific signatories or filter by signatory type, size, region, country or year submitted to view all public transparency reports in the data portal. If you are interested in signatories that have reported on climate change specific indicators, please click on the tag and select Climate Change. If you click on the signatory, you can request access to both assessment reports and transparency reports. While service providers' transparency reports are now in the data portal, service providers cannot request access to other signatories' reports. A useful function of the data portal is the ability to group signatories' reports by creating lists. Click on Add to List and New Lists to group signatories of interest to your organization. You can also create new lists or view your already created lists if you go to the My Lists tab. Through the reporting framework, the PRI has captured public data that is made available to investors under the Explore Data tab. If you click on Data Search, you can download all public responses in Excel format or alternatively narrow your search by using the filtering functions available. Please note that you must select Report Submitted Year and Module to be able to export data. If you click on Peering Scores, you can view the module scores for a selected group of signatories. The PRI's snapshot reports are using both public and private data from the reporting framework to create interactive data charts to highlight mainstream and advanced practices among our signatory base. The snapshot reports enable signatories and members of the public to quickly query PRI data for their specific markets and other criteria using the filtering functions on the left hand side. If you have any questions, you are welcome to contact the PRI on reporting at umpri.org or call on plus 44 203 714 3187.